What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So about a month and a half ago, Apple released the third generation of the Apple AirPods and of course a few weeks after that we started getting the fake ones. These ones here are fake but they look identical to the original ones. So in today's video I'm going to show you the differences between the original ones and the fake ones and hopefully by the end of this video you're going to have enough information so you can easily spot the fake ones because nobody wants to spend about $200 on a pair of fake um, earbuds. Now, it's always recommended that you buy your Apple products directly from Apple or an Apple reseller. If you buy them on the Facebook Marketplace or eBay or stuff like that, there is a good chance that they may be fake. So keep that in mind. Alright, so we're going to start by checking out the boxes and you're going to be able to see the original box on the left hand side of the screen. So the red side of the screen and the fake ones on the right hand side of the screen. So the blue side of the screen. Okay, so looking at the boxes, yes, the boxes do look pretty similar on the front, on the back and on the sides. Now, the box on the original ones is a bit more towards yellow, I'm gonna say, where the color of the box of the fake ones is a bit more towards white. And of course, the ink quality on the original ones is a bit um, better. The stickers on the side of the box here are also a bit different, but keep in mind that the stickers may actually be different depending on the market where you are buying um, the AirPods. So, for example, if you're buying this box in Canada, the stickers here are going to be different than if you're buying this box in Europe. So it's going to be difficult to tell just by looking at those um, stickers. Now, the easiest way to spot if you're looking at a fake or a real box is on the back of the box. So when you pull on those tabs on the back of the box, the original box is very easy to open. Those tabs are almost made out of this plastified um, paper, so they are very easy to open. As soon as you pull on them, they um, open. But on the fake box, those tabs are actually made out of paper. So when you pull on them, um, they'll kind of break. So that is the first thing that you should look at, the way the box actually opens. On the original box, they are super easy to open and they look very clean once um, you pull those um, off. On the fake box, they don't look that clean once um, you actually manage to pull them off. As soon as you open the boxes, you'll get to the user manuals and the user manuals are pretty similar. But once again, the user manuals may actually be different depending on the market where you're buying the AirPods. So once again, if you're buying these AirPods in Canada, the user manual may actually be different than if you're buying these in China. So keep that in mind, not that big of a difference for the user manuals. As soon as you remove those booklets, you're going to get to see the charging cases for um, the AirPods and um, you're going to have to pay attention to that plastic wrap that we have on the charging case. On the original box, that plastic wrap is perfect. On the fake one, it doesn't look that um, great. So once again, this is another thing that you should look for. The fake ones will probably have that plastic wrap not looking that um, great. So if you see something like that, um, you're definitely looking at the fake box. As soon as you remove the charging cases, you're going to be able to access the cable. On the original box, the cable doesn't actually move in the box. On the fake one, the cable kind of moves around. Not to mention that thing that covers the cable is made out of cardboard on the original box, where on the fake box is made out of cheap plastic. So another thing that um, you can look at so you can um, tell if you're looking at a fake or real box. Next, we are looking at the charging cases themselves and I have to say the charging cases do look pretty similar, so very difficult to spot um, the fake ones. Even that LED that we have on the front of the case there, um, it um, has the same grayish looking color. So with the previous fakes that I've seen, that LED was actually black. Well, that's not the case anymore with these ones. So the cases do look pretty similar on the front, on the back and um, basically on the side, so everywhere. Now, where you're going to be able to spot the fake ones from the original ones is as soon as you open them. So when you first open these, the original ones are going to be flashing white, but the fake ones are going to be flashing green. So look for that the first time you actually open the cases. The original ones will flash white, the fake ones will flash green. Inside the charging cases, at the top here, you're also going to be able to see the serial number. Now, the serial number seems to be in a different location on the original ones and on the fake ones. So maybe look um, and see if the ones that um, you have are like mine. So the original ones that um, I have here. Now, the serial number um, on the case here does match the boxes. So the serial number on the original ones matches the box of the original one. And the serial number on the fake ones here on the case does match the box of the fake ones. 
Okay, and since we are talking about serial numbers, as I said, the serial number on the charging case is the same um, serial number that we have on the box. And this is the same for the fake ones and the original ones. Now, if you remove the AirPods, you're going to notice that um, on the original ones, each AirPod has a different serial number. So you have the same serial number on the charging case and on the box, but the AirPods themselves have different um, serial numbers. That's not the case on the fake ones. So the fake ones have the exact same serial number on the charging case, on the box and on each AirPod. So keep that in mind if you have the same serial number on all four of them. So the case, the box and the AirPods, you're probably looking at the fake ones. So the original ones don't have the same serial number on the actual um, AirPods. Looking at the AirPods themselves, well, they do look quite similar. So it's going to be difficult to tell mostly if you don't have both of them um, together. So the original and the fake ones, if you just have um, one pair in your hand. I did notice that the original ones are a bit um, heavier. But again, if you don't have both um, together to look at them, you're gonna, not going to be able to tell. I did notice, however, a difference. So if you look at the top here on the original ones, we have a little mesh that probably covers a microphone. On the fake ones, we do have something similar looking, um, but this is just a piece of plastic. There is no actual mesh in there. So we probably don't have the same microphone placed in the same spot as we have on the original ones. But that is really the only difference that I've noticed between the original ones and the fake ones. Both the fake and the real ones also have that sensor um, and um, they will pause the music every time you take them out of your ear and they will start the music back up whenever you put them back um, in your um, ear. And um, they do work the same. So every time you take them out of your ear, the music will stop, you put them back and the music will start um, once again. So no difference for that. I've also noticed a difference for the pairing process. So when you first open the charging case, the message that pops up on your iPhone will be different between the original ones and the fake ones. The fake ones will say not your um, Apple um, AirPods. So look out for that message. If you're seeing that um, message that you're seeing on the screen right now, you're probably looking at the fake ones. There is a good chance that you're only going to see that message the first time you actually get to open the case and pair them to your phone. I've also noticed another difference under your phone's um, settings. So if you go to general and about and you click on the AirPods, the original ones have the same serial number that you'd get on the box and on the charging case. Where the fake ones, um, the serial number that shows up in there is different than the serial number that we have on the charging case and on the box. So once again, something that um, you should look for. If you are ever buying some um, original Apple AirPods, um, the serial number on the charging case will be the same serial number that you're going to be able to see on the phone. Well, in this case, so with these ones, um, that serial number is different. And lastly, sound quality. Well, this time around, the fake ones don't sound as good as the original ones. With other fake ones that I've tried in the past, the sound quality was very close to the original ones. Well, with the original um, Apple AirPods, the third generation, these ones have more bass. They get louder when compared to these um, fake ones. Now, again, if you've never listened to the original ones, it would be difficult to tell if you're listening to the fake ones or the original ones because you're not going to know um, how that um, it's supposed to sound. I can tell you because I was able to put this in my ear and then put this in my ear and uh, listen to the same song. So yeah, these are the fake Apple AirPods, the third generation, and these are the original ones. Hopefully this video was useful. Hopefully by now you have enough information so you can easily spot the fake ones. So you don't end up buying the fake ones, believing that you are buying um, the original ones. Thanks for um, watching. Don't forget to press that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.